When you touch down in the tiny island of Bermuda, you quickly become captivated by the picturesque quality of the island. Some of the most gorgeous coral reefs in the entire world exist right here. However, the delicate ecosystem is under attack by an invasive predator species known as the lionfish. The lionfish invasion began with a few individuals in South Florida dumping their aquarium fish into the ocean in the mid-1980s. This started with only five or six individual fish. This thing just keeps eating, uh, reproducing, and growing. The reefs are just being decimated. They're a species that is not native to the Atlantic. They're, they're native to the Pacific, so they have no natural predators. They give out 30 to 40,000 eggs every three to four days. They consume juvenile reef fish, and those fish, of course, don't grow up, so there's a food chain gap. And they also don't clean the corals. So now, not only do you have a food chain problem, uh, you have uh, dirty corals that are dying. To make matters worse, each lionfish has to be speared one at a time. The process is both challenging and also extremely time consuming. So how do we stop the lionfish invasion? Some have offered the idea of introducing one of the native predators from the Pacific or from the native range into the Atlantic to try to tackle this problem, which we have no idea what harm this could have on the ecosystem as well. What we're looking at is managing the population to keep the numbers at a level that's going to minimize the negative impacts to the ecosystem. So what next? Meet Colin Engel, CEO and founder of iRobot creator of some of the most innovative technologies within the military and consumer sectors. I believe that if you have the tools to solve a problem, you should. The dive which started Rise uh, was with this amazing guy, Grand Maddox, who took us out on his boat, and when we came up with a lionfish, he's the guy who said, Colin, you build robots, you should do something about this. Why don't you build a robot to hunt lionfish? Scalable, low-cost robotics is giving us a powerful new set of tools to attack environmental issues. Uh, the idea that you could actually build an underwater vehicle for five, six hundred dollars is is, is completely uh, radical and, and especially one that does as much as the Guardian robot will do. The first time I heard about Rise, I was actually a bit skeptical, thinking how can a robot do what I do underwater? How can it be as picky about which fish it goes for? And then to see the robot, the prototype, in the water has really you know, made me believe not very many people are able to get down to these depths. and We need something else to help us along the way. The presence of the lionfish has such a negative impact on the coral reef ecosystem that even the most staunch environmentalist couldn't find a problem with removing it in order to maintain biodiversity and ecosystem function on coral reefs.